But just looking at the magnificence of the of this as a, a just just a general car. I mean, this is just so rare to see, and to be able to work on such an amazing car like this is such a gift. I feel honored to be working on this for my customer and doing a, this much of a, a, a grounds up restoration on this is just such an honor. Um, and and working on this S14 and taking it out and just just inspecting it, you know, and this is such a cool thing. It's so, so cool. finger to kind of massage it all around. The more assembly lube you use, the better, because you really don't want to have any metal on metal contact. And I actually put lube on the inside of the cylinder wall as well, just so I am 100% sure that everything is going to go in smoothly and I don't have any binding. So <clears throat> you kind of throw, you, first of all, you want to turn the crank. I'm turning the crank so that it's downward and not going to interfere when I push the piston down. Uh, so the crank is not going to interfere with the connecting rod. Now that I've got that, I can take this uh, ring compressor and stretch it over all the rings, including the lower oil and oiling ring. And I can let me at least get this thing settled in right here. There we go. Um, okay, so now everything is nice and square. If I push this, I can see that the piston rings are actually push pulling in all in unison, which is good. Um, then, uh, I want to use the tool here. Actually, I want to turn this around, make it a little easier for you to see. So you can see, I have all of my rings all nicely compressed, right? So if I were to use the tool, you don't want to compress too much, okay? You don't want to compress too much. You want to compress just enough. Can you still see? Yeah, you can, okay. So if you compress too much, it will start to bind. 
So I've compressed it just enough, and I'm going to start pushing the piston down. And I'm going to do it, and I'm going to vary, make sure everything is square, right? See, it's a square, it's rotating like that. You just want to compress just enough. If you have to push your finger in just to kind of like get it to sit in. There we go. There it goes. Middle guy. And then the piston comp ring compressor will end up snapping off because there's nothing to hold anymore. And, oh, it slides right down there. Looks good. All right, let's do the other two.